Ladies and germs, welcome to the Minecraft Carnival. Today we have for you an amazing show unlike you've ever seen before. I will be launching myself out of this giant cannon all the way into the sky before your very eyes. Are you impressed, sir? Of course you are. Either way, it's time for the cannon blast off to begin as we're launched into the unknown. Before we do any such business though, we have to light the fuse. We have a huge fuse over here that must be lit before anything happens. So, the fuse has been lit. In we go. I am ready for this. Three, two, one, and blast off! <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome to another Minecraft glitch video. If you remember the Minecraft ghost block video I did just a few days ago, you'll be able to find a area to click it on the screen right now or a link to it in the description of my video. Well, there was a concept created by old Ganon of Minecraft fame, which allows you to create a contraption that will literally launch you almost 40 blocks into the air with the simple use of the ghost block mechanic. And we're gonna be covering how to build this today. It is literally the slime ghost block elevator. Look how high up we went off of one little block. Watch, I want you to see that again because it's very, very impressive. Obviously you don't need to really use the fuse or or be at a carnival for that. I just, look, I'm just clarifying, okay? So you step on this pressure plate, just like that. This machine preps itself, step on on, and then in three, two, one, you are launched into the sky that high up, and it is super easy to make. We're gonna be covering it today. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you wanna see more redstone creations or more Minecraft glitches, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you are also subscribed to my channel if you are not, so you can catch uploads right as they arrive each day. But without further ado, it is time to show you how to build this baby. So over here, I have set up a little area that kind of showcases what we are working with today. You're going to need to get yourself a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four block high area. This, by the way, is the thing that you want to have set up in terms of block placement. These can be any blocks. And in addition, the glass that you see here is also solid blocks. I made it this way so that you could kind of see where all the blocks are going. So go ahead and pause this video. There's also gonna be a download link just in case you get you know, confused at any point. But basically all these glass blocks are going to be blocks of your choice. And then these black stained glass blocks are actually gonna be obsidian. As you can see, we've built this area right over here, over here in real block form. So once again, if you get confused, this is the base model that we're gonna be setting up with. This is assuming you will be entering your ghost block cannon area from this side and eventually standing right there, oops, <laughs> where that sand was. And now we're gonna go ahead and place the redstone involved in getting this baby running perfectly. All right, so now that you've set up the area you need to in order to build this awesome elevator, I'm gonna show you how to build it and we're gonna go into survival mode so you can more easily, ouch, <laughs> kind of follow me around. Now, this is everything you're gonna need, 14 redstone, 12 repeaters, a comparator, block of redstone, a torch, two slime blocks or one slime block and the object you want to turn into a ghost block. Obviously, since we're doing the elevator, we're gonna wanna do two slime blocks for this, three sticky pistons, two regular pistons, 24 furnaces, AKA 24 immovable blocks uh, by piston and uh, slime block standards at least, one stone pressure plate, I'm not sure why I have two there, probably because I'm a creative mode guy, and then of course, cactus. Now we're gonna place these guys last because they're just gonna get in the way for the time being. So kind of just follow along with me. Start at the sand block and we're gonna work from there. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is place down a repeater right here on a one or on a two tick delay. So right click at one time. Remember, when you don't touch it at all like this, this is a one tick delay. When you right click it once, it's a two tick delay. So set this guy to a two tick delay, then set another one right behind him on a four tick delay, which means right click this baby three times, then line your redstone in this manner, just like that. Five redstone are gonna be wasted right there. Place down another repeater on a full tick delay, AKA right click it three times, then three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. This guy, don't touch him at all. You do not wanna mess with this guy's delay whatsoever. Now, just come around here. We're kinda of working a little bit out of order, but this is just the easiest way for you to build it, in my humble opinion. Place your redstone block down 
right there on top of that redstone block, place down a redstone dust. Right next to that, place your comparator down and right click it one time. So it switches the mode that it's in. That's very important. While you're here, go ahead and place down another redstone dust right there and then another repeater right there. Do not mess with that one's delays at all either. Now from here, we're going to start placing in a couple pistons and we're going to worry about the other repeaters and dust last because it's just easier to just do it this way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place down a sticky piston facing you right here and then we're going to place another piston right here last but we're going to do that once we've already placed down our cactus. So now once you've done that, that is the first piston that you need to worry about. You'll notice that this comparator, if we place down a torch here and then some dust, right there, right there, it's going to go ahead and turn that off. Now that that's been turned off, you can place down two more repeaters right here also on full tick delays as you can see looking real good now this is going to basically be the trigger that eventually sets off the ghost machine once it makes its way around from the pressure plate that we're going to eventually place from here take another repeater place it down right here on a uh, one tick delay so don't touch it at all then place this one on a three tick delay which means right click it two times just like that place down your last repeater right here on a plain old one tick delay just like that and once you've done that, we can start placing the final bits of redstone. So almost basically, almost basically, wherever there are spots for you to place redstone, like bada boom, bada bing, boom, boom, boom. And it looks like we had an extra piece of redstone, so don't worry about that. Now, pretty much all the redstone has been set. Let's go ahead and place these back in our inventories. Now you just got to place down a couple more pistons. The first piston you're going to want to place is actually going to go right here, and it's a sticky piston facing towards you just like that that's exactly how you want it placed the next piston is actually going to be a real interesting one you want it facing down exactly shown as this now another sticky piston is going to be going right on top facing you once again going in this direction you'll notice it's not powered just yet well that's a good thing now we're almost done place down a slime block right here place down another slime block right here we're going to try and climb on up here real quick we're gonna place down our cactus, right? Come on, will you? Oh no, oh gosh. Okay, I guess I'll just have to climb back up again. <laughs> and then place down your final piston above this repeater. Make sure you do not accidentally change the, oh, I'm just gonna have to do it right, right, right. Oh, Gee whiz, this is gonna, all right, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna go to game of one to place that guy. Place down your final piston right here, making sure not to accidentally change the delay on that repeater. Now that we've done that, that's technically been used up. We can start to line the top row, and this is where that fourth block height comes into play. Grab yourself any sort of a movable block. Furnace is probably gonna be easiest to do, and literally just cover the top of this entire contraption, with the exception of the area that you're gonna be falling from, which is right above the cactus. So leave the cactus unexposed like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just like that. It doesn't need to be all of these blocks. I just went ahead and grabbed a five by five sectional of furnaces for me to use for this example. So we've got one, two, three, four, and this will conceal a majority of the redstone. Obviously you're gonna want to place this underground so that you don't see most of this to begin with anyways. But just like that, one last step, which is to place a redstone two behind where you would be above the cactus. So place that right there, which is gonna set off the redstone dust that's underneath it right here and you can see upon pressing this your ghost block machine is ready and then just like that upon standing on it you ready for this start shaking look oh i'm gonna i'm gonna kill myself right is it yep <laughs> so that my friends is exactly how it all works i'm gonna go ahead and take this cannon shot back over to our showcase area so i can explain a little bit about why it works the way it does so up we go it's so much fun. I can't even. I, I can't even be mad about it. Okay. So the way it's all working here is um, the reason you even get launched up into the sky is because since it's a ghost block, it's entirely client side. Minecraft works on client side and server side. Basically, the client, aka your game, says, "Okay, this block is right here," and it tells the client. It tries to tell the server that that you're playing on as well. Now the server's like, "No, it's not." But since you see it on your screen, the game technically thinks it's there. So when a ghost block gets made, which we will show off right here, when a ghost block gets made, your game thinks there's one here. Watch, if you try and right click it, it's a ghost block, just like before. 
Ghost blocks are not actually there. I won't get this if I try and break. Yeah, but it's like blank. If I try and break it. However, since you think it's there, the game is telling the server, yo, yo, that thing's there. But since the server knows better, the moment you try and step on the slime block, what's actually going to happen is the server is going to slowly try and launch you down below to where that cactus is. Every so often, it will lower you. You don't see this, but it will lower you just a smidgen of height down until you hit the cactus. Now, the moment your character takes damage, the client side, aka your side, thinks, hey, I must have just fallen on this slime block that's right here because I took a little bit of damage and I'm moving in velocity. So blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You don't really know why it has to work. I just wanted to try and explain. Basically, the game thinks you're falling super far. The moment you take some fall damage, it kind of catches up with itself and says, hey, I'm on a slime block. It's time to launch this sucker way higher than he definitely should be launched. And just like that, friends, you've made yourself a ghost slime block cannon blaster launcher. Not entirely sure what I want to call it, but it is a marveling, marveling thing. It is something to marvel at. It is super cool. And the best part about it is we are currently in Minecraft 1.8.3, AKA the update that just came out. So there is a chance that this baby is going to last for the next however long. So I look forward to seeing what amazing creations are made involving this little exploit. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and that you will build it for your own world if you did and or you want to see more redstone slash glitch videos on my channel, then make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and of course drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and we will see you for the next tutorial slash video. Okay, bye.